how do you project a point onto an ellipse? Now here we've got a basic equation for an ellipse, which has this form here. And we've got a point, and we'd like to project it onto this ellipse. If you've got an ellipse that's centered somewhere else or rotated, then you can do shifting and rotation to get it into this form and then use these procedures. So there's two types of projections we're going to consider here. The first one is directly towards the origin. So we want to take this point and find the point on the ellipse that is along the line directly towards the origin. And we're going to label that point as XP. YP. That's the point we're interested in, XP, YP, the projected point. And it's a pretty straightforward way to do it uh, by scaling the direction that's the largest. And then you get a, the, you transform the ellipse into a circle. And so that's what we've shown here. And that is by defining a variable U, which equals B divided by A times X. Uh, and then you've got a circle in terms of u and y. So our point becomes b divided by a times x naught comma y naught. And our projected point here, we're just going to call this up comma yp. Okay, now how do we find that? Well, we can find the distance along this line and then we scale it to, we can scale this point by dividing by that distance and multiplying by b. So the distance along that line is, of course, the square root of b divided by a x naught squared plus y naught squared, all square rooted. So that's the distance along that line. And I'm going to call that d u of u y. And then, of course, we can take our point u p, uh, we can find our point u p y p, which is going to be equal to this point here which is uh, b on a times x naught comma y naught scaled by this divided by d u y multiplied by b. And that gives you the point u p y p. And to go back to the point x p y p, we just invert this relationship here. So we find x p uh, y p equals a on b times u p. Uh, comma yp. Okay, so we've projected from our point directly towards the origin onto the ellipse. Another thing that we might want to do is to find the closest point on the ellipse to our point here. So that means we need to find the point where the tangent is at 90 degrees to the projection line. Okay, so what can we do there? How do we find that point? Well, something that's a clever trick that we can do is we can write x equals a cos theta. We define this uh, variable theta, which is the angle around from the x-axis. And we can see, I'll draw it for the point of our interest, but in fact, for any value of x, of course, that is gonna be this value here. So for a point on the ellipse, this is x, uh, this is a cos theta. And we define y equals b sine theta. Okay, and so we've introduced this theta again uh, for parameterizing around here. And that is in this one here. You can see that that is going to be this value on the y axis here. This is b sine theta. And now what we can do is we can write an expression for the distance between our point and the ellipse, and then we're going to minimize that distance. Find the point on the ellipse that minimizes that distance. So the distance, of course, is x naught, which is the x value of our point that we're projecting. So x naught minus the point on the ellipse. So x naught minus a cos theta squared plus y naught minus b sine theta theta all squared. Okay, so that's the, uh, the, that's an expression, that's the squared distance. And now we're going to take the derivative of that with respect to theta to find the value of theta, and we'll set that to zero. So the derivative of this, of course, gives us two x naught minus a cos theta times a sine theta. 
And then the derivative of this term gives you plus 2 y naught minus b sine theta times minus b cos theta. Okay, that's the derivative of this term here. The derivative gives us this term. Now we set this term equal to 0. So we set 0 equals this term. And we're going to find uh, the value of theta, which is corresponds to the shortest distance here. Now, unfortunately, there's no easy closed form expression for this in terms of theta to find the point where your distance is minimized, but you can solve this numerically. Uh, something in your favor is you know the quadrant where your point is, so you only need to search over angles that are in that quadrant. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps others to find the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. That really helps the channel. And you can check out the description below. You'll find a web page with a full description and a full categorization of all the videos on the channel.